So a quick video today. I want to cover something that I was having trouble with when I was working on something earlier today. Um, I have this data table. So I'm using a library called jQuery Data Tables, which does a lot of nice things for HTML tables. Um, it allows you to order them. Um, you can have pagination if you have too many rows. You can search. Um, it allows you to do a lot of cool things with tables. Uh, it's a nice library to use if you're working with tables. Um, anyway, one of the things I was doing was I was uh, importing some data into this table. So you can see how here I have this array of objects and they are reflected in the table here. Uh, by using this data table call and uh, passing in this data here, this array of objects, the table gets drawn automatically. So this is great um, when you have all the columns you want specified in that array. But what if you wanted to add an extra column? So I needed an extra column with checkboxes and I couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, it took me longer than it should have. So I'm just going to demonstrate how to do that in this video really quick. So here I have a basic HTML file that has um, the basic structure of the table. There's nothing in the body because data tables handles the body of the table. But I just want to add one more column to the table. So let's call this column submit and we're going to close the header. So I was trying to figure out, okay, if data tables is going to handle drawing the table for me, how can I get a column in there that doesn't necessarily depend on the data in here? And it took me a while, but I figured it out. So data tables uses this column attribute to specify um, which each one of the columns will be. So when you have three columns, you have three things in this array. Um, and this is the first column, this is the second column, this is the third column. So if I wanted something for the first column, so I added that new column um, before the other columns. Uh, to draw something in there that's not necessarily data, uh, you do something like this. So it's always an object. And instead of having data, I'm going to use render. Render is going to draw something in the column. And it takes a function. So all I have to do in this function is return what I want drawn in the table. So in this case, I want a checkbox. So I'm going to return that. And I should see a checkbox when I refresh. So now the table is updated. I have checkboxes in this first column. And um, I can now use them to do more like I can select rows and save or whatever I was trying to do this morning but uh, that's all I want to show you pretty simple stuff um, hopefully if you see this video you won't waste any time getting stuck on that like I did um, it's really helpful to read the documentation so thanks for watching